Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today, we're going to answer the age-old question of who has the keys to the battleship? Now, whenever this question is posed to me, uh, I assume that the person who's been asking it is asking, like, the keys to a car. You've got one thing to start the ship up. Um, and battleships don't have that. However, uh, we recently found all of the engineering department keys that are part of locking down the machinery. Uh, so, if you've caught some of our past episodes, you might have seen that uh, each reduction box for the main engines has 22 padlocks on it to prevent people from opening that up and uh, either intentionally or accidentally damaging and disabling the ship. I always assumed it's 22 identical locks over four engine rooms. So that's 88 locks just on the reduction boxes of the ship uh, that there was a single key that could go through and unlock those. So when there was maintenance, you go to the engineering officer, who is the one who has this key, and you pick up that key and you go and you open all the locks you need. Well, today I can tell you uh, for a fact that that is not the case, because we've got all of these bags of keys separated by engineering main space. We've got this box of keys, this container full of keys, and then all these keys in here. I suspect that these master keys used to live in a space on the ship, such as the engineering log office or some other similar administrative space on the ship when she was in service. Uh, and I assumed that they ended up with the Navy or in somebody's souvenir box or whatever when they left the ship. Well, recently, uh, we've had a turnover in command in our maintenance department, and the new maintenance uh, person is going through and uh, cleaning out the old office. And in there, we found these boxes. Um, the, the office that he's in is almost certainly not where these boxes originally lived, but it does make sense that when these were found by volunteers in the early days of opening the ship, and unfortunately we don't know where that was, that they were given to the person in charge of maintenance uh, back then, 20 some odd years ago, and they were stored away, and now we've had a com almost complete changeover in staff. Nobody remembers this. Nobody in the curatorial maintenance departments from back then is, is still around. So we have found the keys to the battleship, and uh, we're going to go down to the engine room and use them. So, we have grabbed the bag that is labeled number two engine room, uh, and we have come down to number two engine room. And the uh, bag has a big ring of nearly identical keys on it. But wait, there's more. A second big ring of nearly identical keys. And if I had to guess, they're both labeled uh, the same number two engine room, number four main engine, uh, which is the main engine that's down here in engine room number two. Uh, we've done videos where we explained that before, not going to go into that again. But I assume that these are just duplicate rings. And there was probably a set in the engineering office and a set in the engineering officers, the Chang uh, stateroom, or something like that, if I had to guess. So, uh, looking at these keys. Oh, uh, thank Jesus. They're, uh, some of them are engraved with what they are, which tells me The lock is engraved with a number 22, 23, 22. Ha! Ah. This is the first time, probably since 1991, that this gear reduction box has been unlocked. Because um, nobody had the key prior to now. So I'm excited to crack this open and see what's in it. 
we opened up this engine room for tours a couple of years ago, and we have been debating ever since then cutting the locks off to open these so that people can see inside. And uh, while I'm not opposed to opening these to see inside, I've always been opposed to cutting and destroying the locks. And uh, I feel really good that I've put that off until we actually found the keys and that we were able to find the keys. So uh, this lock is wedged in there too tight to take off. So I've got to work on this. Give me one second. Also, uh, worth pointing out, you cannot pull the key out of the lock once it's unlocked. You can only pull it out when the lock is locked, which is probably why there is a separate key for each of the locks. So that if you unlock this one, you leave the key in it, you go to the next one and unlock that. So uh, let me just get a wrench to take the pressure off of that. This is one of the coolest things about this job is the Navy just left everything in place. We didn't know where the keys were, but they left them here. And the wrench to open the engine? Well, surely it's one of these wrenches in here. Those all look a little big, but this one? Ah, Cinderella. Fits like a glove. Let's see. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. And that took enough pressure off for me to remove this big chunk and lock. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the reduction gears of an Iowa-class battleship. We just found the keys to the fastest battleship ever built. And that's the engine that drove her to that speed. The gears are still oily from their lubrication. This is part of the uh, preservation process that the Navy puts into these ships when they're decommissioned, uh, especially for the Iowa-class battleships, which were intended to be reactivated. Here we can see a point where two of these gears are coming together. I've always wondered what these bars were. It seems that there are a series of nozzles in here, um, which certainly means that it's uh, squirting lubricating oil down into the gears. So I assume if you need to clean out or remove those nozzles, you would take this lock which unfortunately has been painted over. I can't see which one it is. We'll have to go through all 22 uh, keys and figure it out. But you take that lock off and then you might be able to unbolt this and pull all of those nozzles out. Uh, my Honda Civic, I believe, has a five quart oil tank. An Iowa class battleship has a lube oil tank that's about that size. Uh, don't ask me how many curators can fit in there. We haven't tried it yet, but uh, maybe some point in the future. But needless to say, it takes a tremendous amount of lubricating oil for an Iowa-class battleship. So what is actually going on here? We've got our turbines over there. They're each moving uh, at around 5,000 RPMs when the ship is uh, under full power. So that is spinning significantly faster than we want the propellers to spin. If you spin a propeller too fast, it does not bite into the water and push the ship forward. It blows the water away from the back of the ship and creates a cavity. Really, that's if you're going super, super fast. What actually happens at these lower speeds is it creates cavitation, which is air bubbles that begin to form on the propeller blades. And as those pop, uh, they, one, wear away your propeller blades and do damage, and two, they make noise. Submarines can hear that noise on their passive sonars, and we've got no defense at all against submarines. Uh, plus, it's just less efficient. It would not allow the ship to propel herself as quickly as she does. These gears are so finely meshed. Here's a picture of somebody hand filing the gears to match perfectly prior to installation. Uh, they are so finely meshed 
that if I was to drop a penny out of my pocket, a button off of my shirt in there, it could uh, destroy the gears and that would do innumerable damage to the ship. On one occasion in the 1980s, uh, with this cover off, a gasket or something uh, fell off of the cover into the gearbox on the battleship Missouri, which rather than repair, they just restricted the top speed of the ship from that point on. To prevent this damage, again, either intentional or accidental, the uh, access to this was restricted. I've heard that when sailors were going to open this, either the chief engineer who had the keys or a marine guard would be posted to make sure nobody did anything here. And when you did this, uh, you would either be stripped down to your underwear or you'd be wearing a pair of coveralls with no buttons and no pockets. And any piece of equipment you took in here would be checked in and checked out to make sure you didn't accidentally leave a wrench in there or a nut and bolt or anything like that. So um, in addition to the inspection port that we're able to look into now, you will notice there's also four of the biggest chain falls you've ever seen in your life, which could take this whole case off. Notice all of this over here so that you could start taking it apart and hoist it up so you could access the inside to do major work. Uh, it's worth noting that there is a limit to the amount of work you can do to these. New Jersey's number three engine in number four engine room uh, was something like one one hundredth of an inch out of tolerance, the gears as delivered to the ship. And the Navy knew this and never uh, tried to replace it or fix it or anything like that. It was too expensive, too complicated to remove all of this. And even with that, New Jersey is still the fastest. So how much more was wrong in the engineering plants of the other Iowa-class battleships as delivered? These covers exist to help preserve what's inside of this. And the Navy intentionally wants these ships, the Iowa-class in particular, to be preserved so that if there's ever a national emergency, they can be recalled back. While that is exceedingly unlikely, there's still the mandate in our contract. So uh, it is January 2023 right now. If you come out in January or February, odds are this is still going to be closed and locked so that it's not wide open. All that oil in there is going to become sticky and start to attract any dust and anybody could throw anything in here. Uh, so if you visit in the near future, this will still be locked. However, we are working towards getting light in there and, and a plexiglass cover and some other stuff so that at least for this engine room that's open to the public, you can come and check out uh, the gear reduction box. What other things do you think were kept under a lock and key on the battleship? Let us know in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue supporting the ongoing preservation projects on the battleship, such as making our engineering plant more accessible. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.